Hello traders, today I'll be showing you how to create uh, how to add Martingale take profit and stop loss to your to your derive bot. First and foremost, for those who don't have trading account, make sure you create your trading account by this link. And um, for the previous video, my first video is this one uh, uh, on uh, creating derive bot. You can watch the the video step by step, and then um, you get to catch up. Uh, step by step uh, creating your derive bot now let's get started on creating your first on adding martingale and take profit and stop loss on your on your derive bot first thing first we need to add variables we need a stack as a variable we need martingale martingale stack We need take profit. Sorry, take profit and stop loss like that. We need to add the variables to our bot, and we need to. Uh, you need to attach the variables on the run once at start because the variables uh, don't need to change at any point when the bot is running now the, the all the variables that are on this block the run once at start are only executed only once when you run the bot and then they they do not change during when the bot is is running we go to maths First take, let's say we use 10. We duplicate this one. Uh, we need to attach. We need to attach Martingale stack. We need to set Martingale stack to stack. We need to set our take profit here take profit and stop stop loss like that now uh, having created the variables and having assigned the variables having assigned the data to the variables doesn't guarantee the, the bot that it will uh, do the take profit and stop loss you have to tell the bot what to what to do with these variables it doesn't know it doesn't read uh this is you have written take profit here so it means uh take profit no you have to tell the bot how to go about the variables that you have you have used here we need on the place that is left for stake here you need to attach our stake variable which will be our martingale martingale stake uh, we need uh uh, we should also have martingale size uh, martingale size and for space uh, uh, for space in I usually prefer you use the underscore that will make it look more a bit uh, professional and a bit clean we need the uh, martingale size let's set it to something like something like two Now we need um, a logic if we need uh, to get the results whereby we need the stats not really we need the contract then we need a the result which is if result is win else now all these blocks must have trade again if result is win set martingale stake to stake else set martingale stake to we need a uh, maths 
need mats we attach there set martingale stick to martingale stick multiplied by martingale size Having uh, now we have already initial, initialized our martingale and it will it will work. We will test it and and see. We can just test it right now. Uh, let me change the contract type from to something like uh, even odd, and I'll be trading on even. Now the stake this one is where you have uh, set your your martingale stake. The initial stake is this one. So. On running the bot, it, it should use the ten dollar as the as the stake. Let me run and see. A first contract, as you can see, it purchased using using a ten dollar. Our martingale size is two, so it should multiply the next stake by by two. You see, and then on winning, it will, it should reset the stake back to back to the initial stake. Now martingale block is working. That's the normal matting allowed by after you lose it multiplies the the stake. Let me add now the take profit and stop loss. We need a uh, logic again. We need to compare. We go to logic compare. We need stats. Stats then total profit. Stock loss. If total profit is greater than or equal to take profit, then we need uh, variables. Uh, take profit variable is this one. Then we need else. Then you take this one here. We need a uh, if total profit is greater or equal to, if total profit stock loss is greater or equal to take profit print, we need to notify something on the on the window means that you have hit your you have hit your take profit. We need this print. Congratulations. Let's write something like congratulations. You hit your take profit you hit your take profit and uh, we duplicate this block for stop loss and we change this one we need to attach a math here because uh, the data that is held by this block on losing it is usually a negative negative data so we need to change to convert the data to positive first need this block need to attach it here and then we multiply by negative one negative one and then you attach it here and then uh, if total profit stock loss is greater or equal to stop loss then change this one to something like you hit your stop loss I've written loss you hit your stop loss now you need to delete this this thread again here and here for the take profit you attach it on the win side uh, for stop loss, we attach it on the on the losing side. Whereby on the first block we chose if result is win, eh, then run this block. Else if means that uh, else uh, means that the result is no loss, then it will run this condition. This condition will only be run when the result is loss. Yes, and that's that's all. Your take profit and stop loss is now is now set. Let, let let us test it and see if it will it will work as we set it uh, our stake is is something like like uh, let's use something like 50 
uh, take profit to be something like 50 and stop loss something like and if you go to consecutive uh, runs it should uh, and we lose it should uh, show that we have hit our, our stop loss let's run let's run the board and see our first run was a win second run was a win our tech profit was was hit you see congratulations you are you hit your your tech profit and the board didn't purchase any other contract assuming we didn't delete the tra the initial trade again block the board could have continued to purchase uh contracts let me try and run again and see if it will make two consecutive losses to see if our first contract was a win second contract was a loss third contract was a loss our stop loss have, has been hit let's see you hit your stop loss and now the martingale take profit and stop loss are have been set um comment down below the video that you want to see the the bot that you want to see me creating and i will create just write down the logic and i'll i'll pick a random comment and then i'll create a bot for that and i will i will share if you also need this this bot that i've created i will attach a link down below the way it is i will at attach a link down below that you can use to get this bot Yes, that's all. Make sure you subscribe and like my video.